Hey you guys, good morning. It is July 12, 1020. Y'all see that time, child? And today is court day. And um, so today I'm going to actually get the benefit of unsupervised visits where the visitation worker will um, sit out in her car for two hours or drive around and come back um, after visitation when it's time to pick the baby up. And um, after that, it's gonna turn into overnight. And then we're asking for a 60 day review where we basically are, have, by that time we'll be done already started uh, overnights um, while completing everything else. So my parenting um, teacher just left. So I just did my parenting class today. So I had three um, parenting lessons a week um, we did today, yesterday, and the day before yesterday, and, um, we had a little mix-up this morning, so my social worker called me and was like, hey, did you know it was over Zoom? I was getting ready, y'all see I tried to do my eyebrows and everything and cover up my little dark spots, um, to get my skin together, and then I got that call, like, you know, it's gonna be via Zoom. So I got my iPad sitting right here, ready to go. And I'm going to get on the Zoom and participate within my court day. And after I'm done, I will come back and let you guys know what is going on and what has changed. Child, I'm excited. And I will see you guys in a minute. I'm gonna eat me a popsicle because I'm kinda hot. And I'll be back. See y'all. So I finished court. I'm so excited. Um, well, it was nothing but good reports about how I'm doing through parenting. Nothing but good reports about how I'm doing through my visits. Nothing but good, nothing negative at all. And so what, what, what has been asked is that they do over, decide to do overnight and unsupervised at their discretion. If you don't know what someone's discretion is that means that when they feel like they should give it to me without going to court because some people with their custody case they have to go to court to see if the courts think it's okay for you know unsupervised and then overnight and so basically the baby's guardian a lot of acts you know hey can we do this at I asked the court that we can move along with the unsupervised visits and the um, overnights at our discretion when they turn. Um, so they won't be having to go to court when they just want me to do another month and a half of parenting and of the parenting um, teacher watching me before they do the overnights. And then when they're ready, her and my guardian Milan can talk to each other and be like, hey, I think she's ready. Okay, I think she's ready too. Let's give her overnight. Okay, you can have overnights. That's basically what discretion is instead of them they, we got to go to court to get that so the judge okayed it i'm excited um so ah, it's gonna be unsupervised first for two hours the same way that i do three weeks a day which means the person that watches my visit is not going to be sitting in my house they're either going to be in a car for two hours or they can go drive around, get lunch, handle their business, go all the way home if they want to, handle some business as long as they're back when two hours has hit to pick up the baby. Now overnight, I'm not sure how that's gonna work. I get three days um, visitation, which is on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. So like it could be overnight, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays, they drop them off Tuesday, come back and get them Thursday. That could be what they do. Um, it could be Friday, come back and get them Sunday. I don't know how they do that. I've never been um, to this extent of a custody case before. So it's all in a learning process. It's the first time for everything and it's definitely gonna be the last. I can guarantee you that, I can promise you that. And we are on the road to custody, all right? And I'm so excited. I do wanna thank everyone who has prayed for me, sent those positive comments, sent super chats to help with anything who i just really appreciate y'all i don't think that without y'all i could have gotten through this i think i would have been in shambles even today even though it's going positive without that extra from you guys like 
when I say I feel nothing but love, that's what I mean. Like, I can't describe like the love that I have for you guys because you guys came in, learned my situation, heard about my situation, fell in love with me from there about how honest and how real I was and it's never been nothing less and I really appreciate that because there are days when I'm going through a struggle and at the moment I can't talk to my therapist. At the moment she ain't gonna pick up the phone because she's with another client and it's just like, whoa, I need somebody to talk to. And from the moment that I sit down and record a video and you guys talk to me and give me positive comments and positive this and positive that and it's never negative, that makes me feel good, you know? It's like talking to yourself, like now I'm talking to myself but talking to a camera, but once you hit upload, you're talking to your 200, 2.K subscribers, you know what I mean? And now they're showering love upon you, something that I don't get in real life. Like, I don't have somebody to be like, let's kick it, let's celebrate, you got your woo, it ain't gonna be like that when I get him back. It's just gonna be a regular day for me because I don't have that family. And to be able to turn on the camera and share my my story with you guys and for you guys to be here supporting me is so beautiful and I thank you guys. And I don't wanna get emotional, but that is the update for court. And I hope you guys enjoy that. I'm just feeling so full of emotion right now with how the court date went, with how my support is going from youtube i just i'm just so happy and i'm so glad that i decided to pick up the camera one day and talk about my problem and come to you guys with it and you guys shower me with the love that i am not getting in real life so i just want to thank y'all for that and i will see y'all later and i love y'all see y'all